you have enough effects um, in the chain, you can basically just like move a knob slightly to completely change the tone while keeping some sort of the cadence of that style of that bass. Um, making it so that you can do everything that you need to under one track um, as opposed to making duplicates and several different ones and really tweaking. Um, there's obviously some points where that might be useful. Um, but I like to try and add forms of automation through modulation um, by using on-offs. Um, say there's a scenario where maybe this um, bass will sound really cool with this, but it really needs some other EQ and other effects with it. You can just easily group them um, and just turn it on and off. Um, yeah, or you can like uh, modulate an effect where if the uh, knob goes down to a certain point, you're just going to not want it on. So just turn it off. The earlier you make a change in the chain, the more impact it will have on the other effects, which will change the sound dr more drastically. Um, so in this case, if you have Serum open, um, I have an FM from B modulated um, and a filter modulated here. And then you can uh, configure those into the um, Serum and then modulate that to the instrument rack. We get here, We'll change it here, which makes it easier for our automation lanes and just like without you having to constantly open and close everything. So with the bass soloed, um, what I did here is I color coordinated um, them to have different effects going. So for this um, is the main standard. I did the same thing with uh, my wubs. Other things you can do also is uh, to change the vibe of a track is um, you can use the drums. So um, in this first part, um, the kick and the snare aren't making any changes, but we're creating different energy with um, the usage of symbols and toms and such. So for this, it's following a very standard eighth note um, beat with the uh, hi-hats, not too uh, much um, rides kind of coming chiming in here and there. Then it comes in with 30 second triplets um, with a mix of uh, rides um, coming in at the same, about the same amount as previous. So you're really just changing that to give a different vibe. So you're basically having a full bar of very standard, um, not too much going on, a little bit much going on, and then a lot more going on to sort of amp yourself up for um, whatever ends up coming up next. Another way to control the energy of your track using your drums is uh, you can change kick types. Um, I have a thick kick in the beginning because there's a lot more space.
So I have a couple of different variations to give different vibe for the track. So for the intro, and then you have the verse, and then we'll have the mini break. Of course, you don't have to do that just for the kick. You can also do it for the snare. So in this case, I have kick types switching between two shifters, one bringing it to a higher version of the kick and one lower. Other cool little tricks uh, you can add are uh, auto pan. Or a comb filter. So you can control the energy of the track um, pretty easily with drums and just changing a knob here and there on the bass um, makes all the difference so it doesn't sound too boring and like you're listening to the same thing over and over again. Mm -hmm. 